Growing up under the royal spotlight, then Princess Elizabeth only had the company of one sibling, Princess Margaret, and the sisters were known to be incredibly close both before and after the Queen ascended the throne in 1952. When Margaret died in 2002, just a few months before the Queen Mother also died, the Queen was devastated. Two decades on, the Queen is known to maintain a very close bond with her niece and nephew, David Armstrong Jones, the second Earl of Snowdon, and Lady Sarah Chateau. Born in 1964, Lady Sarah Chateau has joined the Queen and Royal Family at events throughout her life, and she recently appeared at the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. But unlike some of her other relatives, Sarah has pursued her own career away from the confines of royal life, establishing herself as a successful artist. One royal insider previously revealed to the Daily Mail that the Queen spends a lot of time with Sarah and that she is hugely at ease around her beloved niece. They said, the Queen adores Sarah and seeks out her company as often as possible. Read more, Eugenie and Beatrice stuck to their seats to prevent Harry photo op read more royal family, kick in teeth Meghan ready to turn back on UK she is her absolute favourite younger royal. They are hugely at ease in each other's company. Much giggling can be heard when they are together. They share a sense of loyalty, fun, duty and the ridiculous. While growing up at Kensington Palace with her mother, who was a working member of the royal family, Sarah likely spent lots of time in the Queen's company. But Lady Sarah and the Queen are thought to have grown closer after the death of Princess Margaret 20 years ago, with some reports suggesting the Queen has almost been like a surrogate mother to her niece. So much so, Sarah is thought to have been granted the rare honour of joining the Queen at her secluded Scottish hideaway, Craigowen Lodge in Aberdeenshire. Despite being the grandchildren of a former king and niece and nephew of the Queen, Sarah and David are known to keep a low profile, a quality the Queen is thought to admire greatly about them. An acquaintance also told the Daily Mail, Sarah is very unassuming, shy and almost embarrassed with no grandeur at all. Take royal events, Shelby on the balcony, but she never pushes herself to the middle or the front, like some. Don't miss, Kate Middleton wore one of the rarest gemstones at Garter Day, pictures. Sweet reason royal family ladies sit at back of royal Ascot carriage, insight, Princess Beatrice breaks royal tradition at Ascot with Edo, analysis, read more royal family must work to preserve magic of monarchy, Sarah is often on the royal guest list for high profile events, appearing only this week alongside her cousin Prince Charles in the royal box at Ascot. Earlier this month, Sarah was also seated next to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for the service of Thanksgiving at Westminster Abbey during the Jubilee weekend. The Queen's love for her niece was particularly evident at Prince Philip's funeral last year, which took place under strict Covid restrictions. Sarah and her brother were two of only 30 guests invited to the poignant event, and they also attended the memorial service held for the late Duke at Westminster Abbey earlier this year.